Uh, hoi hoi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back to what is a very chilly November evening. Just to put this into perspective, it is now just coming up to half past ten in the evening. Got home from work, had my tea, watched the Bake Off final, and uh, now I'm recording this before I go to bed. I'm still even in my work clothes. It's been a pretty full on day. Today, as you might have seen from the title, it is of course November Scrawler Box. Time to unbox the contents and see what we've got inside, but not just that, a couple of extra things as well. I'm going to show you those right now. So the first thing is this very nice scrawler box pin. There we go. I think you can see that just about. A little bit blurry. Um, absolutely love this. This was an extra bit of an order that I got. So this has actually been living on the lapel of my uh, winter coat. Looks really, really nice. Really nice quality as well. Although I might get a safety back for it so that I don't lose it. Um, but that's just me with pins. That's what I do with all of them. Uh, but really, really like this. And as I say, this was an additional item because I also bought this. So this is the Scrawler Box pencil case. You can see the little Scrawler Box logo down here. Um, really, really like this. So I, I love having pencil cases. Uh, and I've had many, many over the years. My the most recent one up here was this Derwent one, which you can see is well used and ink stained. The problem that I find with pencil cases is that I kind of leave them in my bag and then I put them on the desk and you have to open them up and scrabble around inside to get things out. It's, it's, it's not great. I much prefer things like this. There we go, a nice little pot on the side. Um, everything's easily accessible. That is exactly why I bought this because if I just unzip the top like this and then pull down the edges this turns into its own little pencil pot. So actually, I can now have this on my desk at all times with all of, I mean, this is mostly from Scrawl Box. You can see the, the black wing in there, uh, the magic pencil that we got, some Derwent fine liners and line markers and all sorts, uh, Faber-Castell white pencil. These are all things that I've really enjoyed using and it's got a nice solid bottom. Now this can live on my desk and if I'm going out somewhere and I want to take my art supplies with me, I can just do it up, zip, and away I go. So I just really wanted to show you this because this is, I think this is a prototype, or it's limited edition, um, and just kind of trialling it out, and I absolutely love it. School of Box, if you make these for everyone, I thoroughly recommend you get it. I, I really, really enjoy it. But uh, kind of tangent over, let's turn the camera around and, um, oh, yeah. It's a very hefty box this, this month. Um, you know, this is thick, it's got a lot in it, it feels very hefty. Uh, so we're gonna turn the camera around and crack this open. Okay, so before we get this open, let's move these out of the way. That can live there now. This can also live there until I put it back on my coat. You might also notice we have a new silicon mat. So if you missed my last video, you'll know we had a Massive disaster with some glue that needed a new silicon mat. This one's not quite as big, but it will definitely do the job. And I'm very, very happy with it. Um, so, let's open this up. It's always so, so satisfying pulling that little tab. Uh, oh, and for those of you that don't know, and I say this every time, I'm not sponsored. I am not affiliated, but I do love Scrawler Box. I've been doing these for just over a year now, unboxing and reviewing. If you would like a discount on your first box, then click the link down below and it will take you to a discount on your first box or first subscription. They are also running a Christmas promotion as well that you might want to check out. They have all sorts of other merchandise on there, t-shirts, uh, pencil cases, pin badges, stickers, all sorts. Speaking of stickers, um, I really hope we've got one in here today. You all know how much I love the stickers and collecting them. This is a big package. There's a lot in there. Okay, let's pop that to the side. This is all of our items for the box. We have a scrawler zine, we have a piece of artwork, and we have a very nice feeling sketchbook. Um, let's pop this out of the way. 
So we also use Cooler Box as well to get in our art supplies and sticker. We also get a suite as well. We get the Cooler Zine, which goes through the materials that we've got. A lovely piece of artwork, and this is gorgeous. I really, really like this. Um, definitely up my alley. This is ink work, if ever I've seen it. And you know me, most of the supplies in my new pencil case are ink. If you saw my Inktober, I love dip pens and all that kind of stuff. Speaking of Inktober, uh, I'm still running my competition for another few days. So up until the end of the month, if you'd like to win one of my finished Inktober pieces, uh, along with its sketch and maybe a couple of other goodies, I will leave a link to the video just here. Give it a click, leave a comment in the comment section. You'll be in with a chance of winning a few bits and pieces from me. But let's get back to scroll button and pop this aside. This this is very nice. It's got a very nice feel to it. It's a Fabriano sketchbook. I mean I would say by these symbols down here, this is good for markers, pens, brushwork, ink, maybe different types types of pens, pencil, fine liners. Pretty multi-purpose, I would say. It's a nice, smooth texture, slightly textured. Feels a little bit like vellum, actually, um, or parchment. Quite like that. Um, okay, let's stop swooning over the sketchbook. And let's open up our little package. There's a lot in here. First, I'm going to put the. Uh, okay, creating calm. That is our uh, our prompt for the scroller challenge. So we don't do the scroller challenge in this video. We do that in a separate video, which will be out in a week or so, maybe two weeks, depending on my schedule. Um, and then the back of this has, it's like an um, a menu list with all the things that are in the box. I'm not gonna look at that just yet. I'm gonna pop this to the side. And I spy a sweet. This is, it's like a toffee, I think. Mm, I'm sure about that. I will read Schoolazine and see what it says. We have, ooh, ooh, lots. Okay. Firstly, a Derwent Slim Eraser. Um, that's a really nice eraser, actually. It's a really nice size. Uh, I like that. We have Faber Castell Eco Pigment, uh, a 0.1. Fine liner in, I'm guessing, black. This feels, it feels like there's something loose inside. That's very odd. I'm not sure if I like that feeling, actually. It's very weird. Yeah, definitely something loose inside. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me get a closer microphone. Yeah, I think you can. Very weird. Uh, we have... Fabe Castell Gold Faber uh, 2B, which we've had the 6B before, because I've just got that out of the uh, the pencil case. There we go. Gold Faber, Fabe Castell 6B. This is a 2B. I like this pencil. I think I'm going to like this because 2B is my favourite hardness of pencil. We have, now, believe it or not, this is my first ever proper Posca marker. So, um, I said before about getting paint markers before, but this is my first ever proper Posca. In white, uh, yeah, white. So that'll be interesting because I've used white pencils, I've used white paint and gouache and, and other things. I've never used a white paint marker on artwork. I think this would be nice for inks. And oh, we've got our sticker. Very nice, taken from our piece of artwork. Pop that just there. Okay, so what, what are these? Fine liners, brush pens, fine liners, brush pens. Okay, they're dual tipped, Venice inspired colours, urban sketching, hand lettering, bullet journaling, brush lettering, blah blah blah. Water based ink. Okay, so these are the Venice inspired colours. These are the Tokyo inspired colours. They're both really, really nice. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of London, whereas this one's more kind of other cities in, in the UK. Um, hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm going to. A little flick through, excuse me. I'm gonna have a little flick through the scroller zine with you all now, see exactly what we have. So, tiny lines, no longer line circle dots hatching. We up your marks of visual effects. So, you, yeah, it's doing dual ended markers, flexible brush tip, super slim 
eraser, permanent ink. Now you've got one of lots of smudging, excellent. Graphite 2B, sweet treat. Yeah, toffee whirl. Hmm, so I, I will give this a try. It's a little bit hard right now, but it might just be the weather because it is, we've had minus degrees in Wales for the first time since we've been here. Um, okay, so this is quite a fine um, Posca marker. We've got, here is our featured artist who is, there we go, uh, there we go, that is their Instagram, got a little bit about them, from India, living in Toronto, drug regulatory professional with a passion for art, very nice, and this is beautiful, it is very, very nice, um, so we've got a little bit of an interview with that artist. We've got some advice on these, so I'll be giving these a, a read between sessions. I'm going to swatch everything out before I, I kind of read any tips or tricks. Uh, what do we have here? Ah! Oh. <laughs> what a first time ever look! That's me! There I am! Hold on! <laughs> it's the original! Look at that! Oh, that's made my day, that has. Oh, I love it! That was a really nice surprise. So this was the uh, Scrawler Gallery from the September 2021 Scrawler Box. Um, I really enjoyed this box. I know a lot of people are kind of a bit uh, um and ah about it, but I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, as you can tell from the piece of artwork that I did, um, I loved it. Uh, and then we've got a little bit about art therapy. If you don't know, when I used to be a teacher, art and drama therapy was something that I was very heavily involved in, so I would definitely be giving this a read. Um, but yeah, that is our scrawler zine. Oh, did it say anything in, in here about our paper? It did, sketch away. 120 GSM. Ooh, 48 pages. That is a proper sketchbook. Um, and that is really, really nice. I mean, I'm, I've got so many sketchbooks, honestly. From right where I am now, I can see about two, three dozen sketchbooks. So, yeah, maybe this will be kind of go in conjunction with this and they can sit together on my desk um, but I think we should start swatching things out should we start with our pencil terrible folding back front page of sketchbooks but here we go um, let's see what should we draw nice fluid lines Some of my friends have been on a, a kick at the moment for drawing these, which is funny because it reminds me of very animatory style sketching. So I would call this the bean shape, which is a, a really good shape for animation and, and cartoon sketching. Um, they would call it the the aubergine uh, or the eggplant. So I'm um, just going to sketch that in there. Who doesn't like a good eggplant? There we go. Um, yeah, I, I'm, you know, it's a pencil. It's a nice pencil. I like it. It will go with my collection of other uh, Faber Castell Gold Farbers as well as other pencils that I've got some from Scrawler Box. Just to, we've got things like this the Delwink Graphic. We've got the um, Faber Castell Pit. I do like Faber Castell for pencils. But yeah, very, very nice. Um, now, well, I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second. Okay, so, these are in sets of complementary colours. Uh, if I can get this open without ruining the box, that would be fabulous. Oh, have I done it? I think I have. Oh, they look really pretty. I've never heard of this company before. Brun Brun Zeal Bruin Zeal Zeal They're from Holland. Yeah, Venice edition. Never been to Venice. Never been to Tokyo. Uh, but I have travelled around to a few places. I really like how these are shaped. So that the thick end, you know, is the brush, um, and the thin end is obviously the fine liner, or at least the fine tip, not necessarily a fine liner. That's a really nice kind of sepia tone. What do these brushes feel like? 
Oh, that's nice. Soft. Really nice. Um, I suppose I should take this kind of aubergine colour and... Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit streaky, but that's probably just my hand with them. I'm guessing if we layer them up, get a bit of that texture of the paper through. I like these. I really like these. And the colours do go together, like this brown and this, this purpley colour, go together extremely well. Let's carry on down the red line and we'll go to this blushing. Oh, very nice. Yes, I like. What else have we got? We've got this, this peachy colour. Do these have na colour names on them? They don't, do they? Do they have anything on the box? <laughs> Gluten free. I like that. Andrew will love that, being celiac. Oh, these are Royal Talons. Okay, I know Royal Talons. That's fine. I've got some other Royal Talons stuff that I'm going to be reviewing very soon. Um, so, yeah, Royal Talons, I know. Um, this. That is just lovely. They lay on top of each other nicely. Look at that. So I've never done urban sketching, not really. I've done little little bits and bobs. I've never done anything serious. So definitely something I'd love to do. Uh, I'm gonna be interested how these blues work with these colors. Oh, that's, that's really nice. I like that. Really, really good. And it is quite a fine f line with the fine end. And finally, we have this, this lovely darker blue. That is vibrant. And again, we're seeing that layering up. It's not picking up the colour underneath. It's not smudging it. I, I really like these. And I'm not... Well, you'll know from kind of other videos that I've done. Not, not a great one for markers and felt tips and things like that. Um, but I really like these. Okay, important question. Can I post this into this end? <gasps> oh, guys. You know how much I like a pen that posts. That is nice. Let's see if it works both ends. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is... Art nerd paradise that is. I absolutely love that. Well done, b b b b Royal Talons. Well done. Okay, that's a really nice set of colours. Now we're going to try out the Tokyo edition. And again, I'm going to try not to destroy the box. Success. See, this to me feels more like an urban colour palette. Maybe it's just growing up in London. But you know, if I took that out, that that's London. And then obviously that's the cherry blossom in Tokyo. Um, whereas this, decidedly not London at all. Okay, we've got, we've got this. What's this? This is like a, oh, it's a grey. Okay. Oh, a very light grey. But the good thing about light greys is you can layer them on top of other colours to build up different tones. So, okay, let's have a look at the pink. Oh, that is pretty. That is very pretty. Let's layer some of this fine liner over this grey. You can see there's a definite shift in the colour. also got these kind of earth tones and this darker grey. So we've got two greys. This darker grey is dark. That's very dark. But beautiful. It's really nice. Um, so let's go with some of these earth tones now. So I'm going to start with the brown. Actually, when you go quickly, it's nice and even, and then you still get that layering, which is really nice. If I go over the top of this with a fine liner, oh, I could do kind of brick work. I've got this. 
This is what I think of as the colour of dead leaves in an urban city. You know, in early autumn when the leaves are falling off the trees and you get this kind of slightly mossy, murky green. Not quite yellow, but not quite green either. That kind of not really autumn. Oh, that's really nice. It was like a steely green. And again, you can layer over the top. So we've got essentially two colour palettes of some very nice pens. I'm, I'm actually really, really liking these. Um, I do want to try out this. This weird listen. I don't quite know what's going on there. Hopefully it's not broken and it's, it's just how it works. It's a very nice consistent line. It's a good dark ink. Very nice. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a fine liner. It, it's a nice fine liner, except for that kind of loose feeling inside. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, let's also try the eraser, just to say we've gone through everything. Let's go and find the bit, the, the little tiny plastic tab. Let's see it somewhere. There we go. Uh, and I like to take it completely out. Okay. Rub out some of this aubergine. Actually, that is performing incredibly well. Let me see if I can get right in this. Yeah, and get right in the details. That's the advantage of having a very slim eraser. And then finally, have the Posca. <sighs> Blow some of that eraser dust. Um, okay, so I've been told that you can twist these, and that's how you you undo. Ah, it does work. Twist the cap, and it loosens the plastic, and then you can just peel it off. I'm guessing this like other paint markers, yeah, so it's completely dry. So I have to give it a shake, let's have a look, shake, press down, draw, put the cap back on. Okay, All right, I'm going to give it a shake. Okay, now let's get this press down. And maybe I should do this on one of the colours so I can see when it starts to flow. <gasps> there we go. Lovely. Not quite as opaque as I thought it was going to be, but that might just be me not shaking it enough. Make sure I give it a very good shake before we actually do any uh, any work with this. So that is all the supplies from this month's scroller box. So we've got this color palette, that color palette, all of these colors, this pen, a Posca, a lovely pencil. Not to forget the extra little bits that I bought with the pencil case and with the pin, which pin badges are one of my favorite things. I absolutely love this. Um, and, and who can forget, in the scroller zine as well. Loving that. Thank you very much, Scroller Box. Um, don't forget if you want to enter the competition to click the link. And don't forget if you want to get a discount on your first ever Scroller Box, join the party. The link is down below. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and this spread of materials. We'll be back very soon putting these to good use using this month's prompt, which is Creating Calm. Until then, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and goodbye.